In addition to our regular operator pre-start checks, this is a guide to our routine maintenance that is required by Australian standards at maximum intervals of every three months. The inspection should include a more thorough inspection uh, in the chassis of the machine, paying particular attention for leaks and loose connections, and also the secure uh, mounting of the pothole bar limit switches underneath the machine. During this inspection, you'll be required to raise the machine by the lower controls, but higher than that of the daily operator pre-start check. As the machine is now uh, at, at full height, we're going to install our safety prop. We're going to lower the machine so our prop is firmly engaged. The machine structure is now safe to access for closer inspection of our lift cylinder hardware. We're checking for any oil leaks evident. We're checking for our emergency desync cable, making sure there's no defects. We're also going to thoroughly check each of our pivot stacks, each of our pivot points, and all our mounting hardware is firmly attached. We can check that on each of our pivots the whole way across the stack. We're also going to have a visual inspection of our electrical cabling that snakes through the scissor stack from the bottom to the top of the machine. At this time, we're going to have a thorough inspection of our channels where our slide blocks run. We're going to clear any debris out and we're also going to lubricate if required. We're going to check our pothole bars structure and operating system are secure. At this point, we're also going to do a inspection around the machine for all safety decals correctly adhered to the machine and present. Any decals eligible for lifting, tie down, safety for any reason, if they're eligible, they need to be replaced. Around the other side of the machine, in our battery compartment, we're just having another thorough inspection, more that than of the operator, just to make sure all of our connections are correct. We don't want any corrosion or loose terminals or build up of battery acid on the batteries. For machines equipped with AGM uh, glass mat batteries, they are completely maintenance free. We are only inspecting the electrical connections at the battery. At this point, once we've completed our inspection of the lifting structure, we're going to remove our safety prop. And locate it back into its cradle. I would use this time as a quick test again of our emergency lowering device that it's operational. A full function test is going to be required of the machine for full height of lift, uh, drive, steer speeds and drive speeds. We should also test our pothole bar interlocks are effective. This can be done by inserting a block of timber, for example, underneath the machine to inhibit the pothole bar. Yeah. With the pothole bar obstructed, we're going to lift slightly uh, and make sure our lift interlock is in, firm, is in fact working operational. We're also going to test our tilt interlock is working correctly. We're going to move the machine onto a hill known to be greater than 1.5 degrees for the test purpose. With our lower controls, we're going to lift and confirm that the lift function is interlocked once it senses the gradient. With this test, 
test, we know that our tilt interlock system is working correctly. As the GMG electric drive sizzle lift range is designed maintenance free, there are no consumable products as such required uh, during the maintenance of the machine. For our 12 monthly annual inspection, the only addition to our routine inspection of three months is we would confirm that our overload uh, protection system is active and set correctly. Uh, we would install 110% of weight into the machine and confirm that the interlock prevents lift function from working.